Welcome back to Sanctu Sanct Sanct TV. I'm your host, B, and now we have the pleasure of speaking to Shelly Sweet Shells. I have to take my time with that. <laughs> the alliteration is real. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> yes, I'm Shelly, and it's a pleasure being here tonight. I'm pleasure sure. having you with us. You could have been you. anywhere in the world doing whatever you would like, but you especially took the time to spend with us, so we, we're grateful for that. Thank you. So you don't like to be boxed in in a specific genre because you are a singer-songwriter. But yes. lately, I've been hearing a lot of Yasoka, and you also have some, you know, songs in um, reggae as well. Yes. So let's talk about your Soka song. Let, let me tell you about Soka. When it comes to Soka with me, there's no being cute or sitting down exactly. and trying to like be at the party and you're just poised. Exactly. <laughs> when that beat drop, That's baby, it. you take it. You take it from there. Exactly. Soka, you know, Soka reaches every and anybody. Yes, Once they hear the beat, it takes you going. It, it does. You know, and we embrace soca. We love soca. I love soca music. And you know, it's anyone, anyone at all in this world who actually hears the music, you know, they, they it just takes them over. Right. And they start to dance, you know, and really enjoy it. So right. um, I've been singing soca for quite a while. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, this, as we mentioned, this is going to be my first song, which I just released, is reggae. So reggae. I do a lot of different genres, you know, um, and soca is is what makes us a Caribbean, you know, a Caribbean country. It which does. Is, which, yes, is from? which is from Trinidad. Trinidad. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Trinidad, you gotta love it. Like, I don't know, soca just feels like a carnival is happening. I don't care. It's just, <laughs> you just want to shake your shoulders. You just want to give a little you shimmy. Just want you to can't. Dance. You exactly. can't. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love the energy in soca. Exactly. You burn calories in soca. Like, mm -hmm. there's no, there's no just definitely. simple one, two step. So, let's talk about your craft. So, we belong. Yes. We Belong is something that you you recently wrote and Yeah, I performed. wrote We Do Belong about about a year and a half ago. I, okay. I released it. Okay. And it was more uh, telling a story of a young lady and a guy, you know, getting to meet each other. And he is kind of like wanting to tell her, I'm not interested anymore. I'm not interested in your love. Ouch. But, but, she, yeah. Ouch. <laughs> but she's saying, you know, I, we do belong. We've had a good relationship. Talk about aggressive we've and assertiveness. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we've been good together. You know, our relationship is solid. Let's give it a good try, you know, because huh. relationships is all about good communication. Right, right. So it's kind of like a breakdown communication, and she's reaching out to him saying, you know, we do belong. And in the end, then, uh -huh. he's there for her. Right. <laughs> so how important is that? Because... Especially, I guess, women. I mean, women are taking different roles now. We're evolving. Yes. But for the most part, we've been programmed to say, okay, the man is the more assertive one in the relationship. He's yeah. the one that's aggressor. He's the one that should go out for your love. Like, even now to this day, I see on social media, I don't know how prevalent it is, I see women getting down on their knee and asking the man to marry them. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> I would never, ever, ever in my every life, never, ever. Ever, Go down ever. on knees, exactly. No, 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 <laughs> for that. Um, however, yes, so how important is that to have a little assertiveness in you to say, wait, hold on, we, we do belong. How important is that? I Especially in the Caribbean culture. I believe just as a young lady, you know, would like uh, to tell a man that we do belong, mm -hmm. And he would like to tell her, we do belong. They all, you know, both, both individuals supposed to be able to communicate. Yeah. Communication is very important in a relationship. Right. And, you know, I, I think that today, in today's society, like a lot of relationships, they just say, you know, it's over and done. Let's move on to another person. But actually getting to, to learn someone, to know them and, and really talk about whatever is bothering each party in the Ooh, relationship yes. it actually helps the relationship to grow and and people can actually focus on one person and not jump from one to another and another and another right, you know what right. i'm saying you know i'm um, trying to to work out whatever is going on in that relationship it's important so hence the reason why we do belong, you know. Do you think technology plays a role in the miscommunication? M most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. But here's what. Even though technology is out there, which we should embrace, right. and I love technology, thank God, but I think that trust is very important. It so is. even though we have that technology and everybody is out on social media, checking out, you know, the ladies, checking out the guys, right, right. you're supposed to have that trust to know that, 
that know, know that you're not that, your man not gonna DM e- anybody. Exactly. You yeah. must have the or vice trust versa. Exactly. And the commitment. So. Yes, commitment. So <laughs> the DM shouldn't be that lit. Or if they're lit, don't respond to them. Right? Exactly. Effective and open communication. Open communication, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Healthy. We'll be back, you guys. We're here at Thanks to Stank TV.